All right, so it's the day before the surgery, so I got everything pretty much figured out what I had to do. Um, I'm two weeks of off of cigarettes and I'm a month off of drinking. Um, quitting cigarettes have been very tough. It's been really bad. Um, it's just because I've had a lot of anxiety issues dealing with that as well. And I've been feeling like very compulsively having anxiety attacks. I think mainly every Tuesday out of nowhere. I don't know why. But, um, so I've been having anxiety attacks with, with, um, with the quitting smoking, my Anger has only flipped out one day, kind of got me kicked out of work. I kind of regret that now. But um, other than that, it's been going kind of well, especially for the quitting process. It's not as rough as it was last time, which I'm very happy about. And now all that's left, I just finally got my dentures. Um, I drank um, get, uh, a gallon of uh, pineapple juice. Sorry, I keep stuttering. I guess I'm still nervous to for tomorrow, I guess, pretty much. But, um, so I drink a gallon of pineapple juice. Pineapple juice, if you guys didn't know, actually helps out um, with the swelling after surgery. Um, it can help out with multiple kinds of surgeries. Um, not just, um, you know, a teeth extractions, but ma mainly, um, people who have their wisdom tooth taken out, they're the ones who really experience that they needed to, um, drink pineapple juice just to help them out with the swelling after a while. I think some of them actually get a cure for four days. I don't know how it's going to work with a full teeth extraction, but this is why I'm, why I'm kind of recording myself just talking about what's, what I'm expecting and what hopefully other people will be prepared for. Um, but I already went out shopping, got some denture adhesions, but just not, you cannot wear them at the first two weeks. I wouldn't even wear it for, I wouldn't wear it for until like week four, week three. Um, only because your gums are still healing and you're going to have a lot of stitches up there that you don't want just coming off just because of the adhesions because the stitches are helping form blood clots to um, heal up the process inside your gums and your gums will continue to shrink. So using dental adhesions, that's kind of like the paste is kind of like gluing itself to the, to the gums. So I'm not going to use that until week three. I just want to have that already secured. So when it when I need to um, put it on, or if my my dentures start falling out because my gums are you know um, uh, deteriorating, then that's when I get to wear them. So I got so that's so this is the night before I have my surgery. I will record when I finish the surgery and see how I feel. Um, I'm trying to think about if there was anything else I had to go over besides I finally went shopping. I did. Oh, that's right. So. I don't know if this is just me or anybody else who has dentures or anything, but I've went through three stores and cannot find a denture toothbrush. There's like the toothbrush kind of um looks like where it's like uh, soft brittle at the front, but then there's a backside with a brittle that's like kind of kind of tiny to help with the crevices inside the dentures. And you want it like a soft bristled toothbrush when you take care of your dentures because dentures can break and Try, and you gotta take as most sincere care with them as possible. You can't just be like kind of rough with them or like rough with your teeth because you know they'll break and they're not cheap. To, cheap. They're not really cheap at all. But like I realized that as myself. But now tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow I will have my 32 teeth extractions. I will be sedated, so I will not be awake during the whole time so I'm one of the lucky ones I've seen people who have to deal with it and it just feels like eternity for them because you don't feel pain but you but you're literally sitting there while they take every tooth out it's a two-hour process maybe three hours on top of that so I'm gonna have that done tomorrow and I'll catch you when it's ready. hello everyone and I have finally got my dentures and this and honestly I feel like I'm doing way better than I would especially at the beginning um, so, oh, how do I even start this off? I'm sorry, I'm still on, like, medication, I'm on Oxy, I, um, just coming off with a bunch of stuff. Well, I, honestly, I'm liking how the dentists are looking. Like, honestly, I, it doesn't, it doesn't look that bad. When I first had them on, it was like, uh, it had, like, a, like, a hood out. Like, right now, it's going to close my, close my mouth. It's, like, taking care, taking control of, like, most of my mouth. Very hard to, uh, swallow, like, or, like, drink anything, um, or kind of eat. I actually did better eating than I do drinking, which is odd, but it's going through very well. And, um, you know, 
So as soon as I got a payment, took all the medication that I had to do, I'm taking it as regular as possible. You do not want to miss any portion of taking events or else you will feel it. And when I first got home, that's all I would feel was it. I would feel a lot of pain all around the area. It was going to my head. I had my acid headaches. It was, it, it felt miserable. I ain't gonna lie. It felt miserable. Until so finally I got a payment that, I, that was actually prescribed to me. I took it. Feel lighter than feather right now, and I'm feeling really good. And, um, you know, ate some ice cream, eating some pudding right now. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta make sure I don't eat too much because with this stuff being liquid, you never know what's too much after a while. And it's just like, you're just trying to make sure you're filled up and naturally, you know, in a good mindset. But, you know, it does, it also has been helping take my mind off of smoking. In fact, with these, with the dentures in, I don't really want to smoke a cigarette at this point. Like, like, I like how white these things is. It looks really good. Um, I'm not forcing too much. Like, the toss are staying on better than they did earlier. The bumps are still kind of loose, but, you know, I'm not dealing with all the swelling yet. I'm surprised I haven't, like, swelled up like a balloon on the left or the right side yet. Honestly, I think the pineapple juice worked. I took the pineapple juice and the bone grafting as well that they did for me. Those of those actually, and with the dentures as well being already in, they're helping a lot with uh, minimizing swelling. I don't know how it's going to be the rest of the week, but that's for the week one update. Honestly, I'm very happy. Like, I had the surgery at 8 o'clock this morning. They put me to sleep. I don't remember anything until I woke up at my house. And um, I was like in bed, but... I recorded some funny clips on Snapchat. I might be posting them, I might not. Because I was cursing heavily in all of them. I don't know why I was so upset or why I was cursing so much. But it was kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. It was hilarious. But, uh, <laughs> like how I sound like that. Hilarious. But, um, <laughs> other than that, I'm feeling very good. You know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling up to my game. And, like, that's my first day. I just got out of surgery. All my sister and everything. You get a little bit of pain, but as long as you got your medication, you're eating your ice cream. Um, you know, take care of yourself, take all the pain meds that is authorized. You might not, like, right now I don't feel that bad. But maybe it's because of the pain med. But, you know, do what the doctor tell you. I'm just happy I can speak like this on day one. Like, day one, speak like this, I'm happy. But, you know. Well, I have to make sure I don't push myself too much doing any extra activities because they, they, the stitches are still new. So I gotta be really be careful about that. I've never had stitches before in my life. So I don't know how I'm reacting or if I'm just too active. Like, especially closing a lot. Oh my god, that's such a cool hold up. I've never been able to close my teeth like exactly like that before. Like, this, all this new stuff is crazy to me. I couldn't be able to do this. Before, I couldn't even close my teeth fully. I really couldn't. I really couldn't close my teeth fully. And it just, like, lost me so much. Like, it was never close fully. It was a bad gap and everything. But these are looking really good. Now, anyway, that's it for day one. Finally had the surgery. And this is how I look. And I'm going to make sure I follow the pain pills, um... Hourly, to set up hourly or the hour alarm clock that I just tell you to. I gotta take it every six hours. And if you miss it, or you're gonna feel that pain until it starts kicking in. So you can't, so I'm making sure I do not miss it. I think I took it at like one o'clock today. But, and I'm, this is actually kind of crazy, man. I don't remember too much, bro. But hey, not a problem. I'll try to edit the video, put it up today. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you guys can keep, keep joining in with my um, healing process.